Chinese Day Rotor. So what we're going to do here today is a very simple tutorial on how to forge a dog head, more of a bulldog than anything, on a bottle opener. This here, I've already done the preliminary work to get the head shaped and forged. So what this will be is the, the tooling, the punch work. So I've already got the steel and the forge. We're just going to jump right in and go. So if you look at this, essentially what this is is a fold over. I've got this and then this, and then it's folded back over that. So it's a fold and a fold to be able to create enough depth for the head. So starting off, once we're up to heat, is we're going to work on the jowls and the nose, and we'll start forming the uh, contours of the jowl. I'm going to use these punches, these are all hand punches. Really doing tooling is like leather work, it's uh, only that the punches are more bulkier and you're working with hot steel, not leather. So uh, it's really fun sometimes. These are all punches that I've made out of uh, H13 steel and they're all heat treated. So uh, it's really cool though, getting to be able to play with this. First thing is going to be the jowls. So I'm going to come right off from where the nose will be and radius off to there. And then a second hit. Now I'm going to come to the other side and do the same thing. One. Two. Now, it's really important to make sure that the steel is kept hot and that your punches are kept cool. Don't let them get hot because then they'll ruin the uh, shape and the sharpness if they get hot. So there's one. Next team will do the nose. are all just random. There's no set pattern for these or the number of dots you need. Just random. I want one right here. We'll add a couple more over on this side. Eye punch 
kind of an oval eye punch for the eye. And for the ears, I use a 3 8 inch square flat punch. Really the, the long aspect of the weight here is reheat. It's really important to make sure that your steel is hot enough to forge, but uh, you know that anticipated weight, once the steel is cold, it takes a while to heat back up. It's just a killer sometimes. Okay. spot here. Yep, looks good. A little bit more heat the next one here. Usually, if I'm in the shop, I'm working on knives. That's what I do for a living. I'm a knife maker. But from time to time, you just have to do something fun to break the monotony. So I like doing blacksmithing, artistic blacksmithing. In a case like this, this is a bottle opener. And it's really not anything more than decorative, but it's fun because you can be creative. And that is important. When you're doing knives 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, you got to break the monotony somehow. Otherwise, you just look nuts. Nice and deep. Nice and deep. That's the name of the game. The deeper your punches go, the more depth you give your work. And I think in blacksmithing, forging organically, uh, where everything kind of flows and looks natural, I think that's really important. Depth perception is another. So when you're forging something, try to give it body, give it depth gives it a more realistic look. So we've done the eyes, what we're going to do now is the ears, using the uh, square end punch.
these are really simple to build. Um, essentially, like I said earlier, it's a fold over followed by another fold. It's the, the body of the face and the nose. As long as, you, as long as you can get that done, the rest of it's simple. Just knowing where to put the punches. which is the dog tag because we want to know where to put the other two punches and then from here it's just simple it's coming off left side and right side